we ran into a problem with, we used to have a, a materials fund checking account where students were the signers. Okay. And we came into a problem where they changed the rules so that only um, somebody 18 or older could be a signer on a checking account. Yeah, yeah. So we were just about to close it this year, but then we had a student who was 18 who agreed to be a signer. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it going. Yeah. Um, well, well, know, as long as we can, but it really, yeah, it really did put a hamper on things. Yeah. Yeah. This was great because the kids would learn how to run a checking account. They learned how to exactly. It was, and you know the the students would make decisions on how to mm -hmm. spend the money. It was it was a really good thing. Yeah, I remember uh, I spent a year teaching psychology at Village Free School uh, some years ago. I spent eight years as the treasurer and co-founder of a, of a local environmental nonprofit. So, literally bookkeeping and doing all the treasury duties was exactly what I did. And so it was, it was interesting. They they had a um, a group of kids who were they were selling something. I just can't remember what. At some point, they had a big sale, and and it, there's multiple kids all handling the cash box. And so when it came down to it, and they counted it, helping them reconcile the book, it's like there's some money missing. When you have a bunch of people going in and out of your cash box, what are you, know, what are you gonna do? They, they learned the hard way that you have to, you have to do bookkeeping. <laughs> and so it was an interesting challenge uh, for them to you know, realize you have to keep track of things and you have to have a little bit of control over the money if you're gonna keep track of it. Yeah, real, real world lessons are, are much better learned than anything artificially Absolutely. Created. The other thing we've learned is that the more power, the more actual power you give students, mm -hmm. the more they'll learn from the situation. Yeah. So yeah. when you actually give them the power to hire and fire adults, then they, they take it seriously and they really learn and they really grow from the experience. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because that's, that's one area that there is a lot of variability on is that some schools – reserve the right to hire and fire, you know, the adults, whereas you've done the opposite and said, no, nope, we're going to let them handle it. And then there's a whole learning process that attends that. So, so I think you're right. That's a really important. I, I think I, it's I think... really, it's really one of the best things we do because I, I, mm -hmm. I've never seen the students stand up taller than after <laughs> they fire a, stu a teacher. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, then that it's such a good thing for them. Mm -hmm. And it also guarantees that I have, the best faculty. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.